It's an aesthetic that's very oriented towards patterns. There's a lot of jewel-like qualities to the work. This is the Fertile Crescent Project, a five-month showcase of artworks by 24 women of Middle Eastern descent. The artists represented are from Iran, where my parents are from. There's an artist who's Palestinian, several artists from Israel, Turkey, Nigeria. The massive series includes 50 free events in New Brunswick, Princeton, and the region. Rutgers president Robert Barchi. The Fertile Crescent Initiative challenges us to gain an even richer understanding of the diversity and the individuality of the countries that make up that region. Zaina Baraki is from Lebanon. Her work envisions a space free from conflict. It's very intense growing up in Beirut. One had to choose a side, depending on where you lived. As an artist, I can imagine the space in between that I call the third half. Project organizers Judith Brodsky and Ferris Olin are founding co-directors of the Institute for Women and Art at Rutgers University. These women are very courageous in terms of their ideas and they are extremely creative. Often they are making art in a society in which women were not allowed to be in the public arena. Artist Nagar Akami was raised in New Jersey and wants Americans to understand the real culture and character of Iran. It's a warm culture that is incredibly hospitable. The Iranians are so joyful and celebrational and not that different from anybody I've known growing up. The Fertile Crescent artists represent 11 different countries but address many common issues concerning women in society. Dealing with globalism, being perceived as exotic. Their works reflect tension, conflict and change. My work is about movement, migration. The animation reflects the constant changes that occur in a conflict and in war. For Israeli artist Ayana Friedman, the Fertile Crescent events are a welcome break from politics. I was very happy to come and meet women, uh, Palestinian artists, to put the politics aside because we are here to create a network of uh, peace. How can you transform the present? Art can raise the question and throw the question to everybody to think about. 24 women giving powerful expression to their Middle Eastern experience and using art to imagine a better future. For New Jersey Arts News, this is Susan Haig.